Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back to the channel. Today, I am hanging out at the Disneyland Resort to give you an update on what's going on this week. So how about you and I dive right in. Walking into the parks today as usual. Yeah, they're progressing very nicely on the surface lot here outside of, outside of downtown Disney. They're starting to wrap things up because all the concrete is pretty much done and they're starting to plant trees. Just as a heads up, the Main Street Electrical Parade and the Disneyland Forever fireworks will be leaving here very soon, the last day, September 1st. I'm kind of surprised that they don't want to keep the parade on the weekends because the park does get relatively busy in the off season on the weekend. So it's kind of an interesting move. Made it over here to the Disneyland Hotel because look, you can see they're setting up some uh, goodies here to start painting because they're slowly but surely getting rid of this tan color. I wouldn't be surprised if they also redo that sign. And you can see the new color right here. It's just different shades of blue. So they're gonna continue all that and uh, get rid of most of the tan. It looks like they're keeping a little bit just for some contrast, but uh, yeah, the, the new like sky blue is kind of moving in and taking over. Now don't worry, this isn't affecting the uh, hotel whatsoever or your stay here if you have something booked for the Disneyland Hotel. Uh, for those uh, rooms that are being redone, they have like a little note inside your room that says, hey, just as a heads up, people are painting on the outside of the window, so don't get too scared or anything. Uh, we're just sprucing up the hotel property. Made it into downtown Disney. They got a couple food trucks here. We got the Nashville hot chicken. Ooh, that sounds so good. And of course, over here, they got some ice cream. We have the happy ice truck. I like when they have uh, the food truck options here in the back of downtown Disney because if you just want to grab something very quick that's also very scrum diddly umptious then there you go right here you always have some options as far as the work happening on the new additions to downtown Disney uh, absolutely nothing has been going on there's no vertical construction there's no uh, construction going on underground there's nothing happening and I have a feeling that we're not going to see these additions to downtown Disney probably not until sometime in 2024 at this current rate if they don't start anything soon it's going to be a long time and over here at Jazz Kitchen, they're continuing the paint job. They're getting rid of all the old orange color and they're replacing it with this like beige color. And I have a feeling our friends here might be on, uh, on the way out as well, unfortunately. All right, we've made it into California Adventure. We're going to start off here and then head over to Disneyland next. Let's head inside the shop real quick because I believe they have some new goodies in here. Yeah, I wanted to point out some of these pins. Look at this Hocus Pocus one, limited release. Yeah, once they're gone, they are gone. They have this cool Star Wars one available as well. It is $17.99. And of course, they have these pins available as well. They have a Miss Marvel one, some Star Wars pins, and then they have some classic Disney character pins up here. Right here in the front of the park, pretty soon the Headless Horseman will move in. I love the Headless Horseman statue. He's so cool. So yeah, just a, probably a few more weeks and we'll see him pop in. Making our way through Grizzly Peak Airfield and look at the lightning lane. This is not the normal queue. This is lightning lane. This is, see, this is so nuts to me. And one more thing over here at California Venture, I've made it over to the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail because they have closed it, not for a refurbishment, but because they're transitioning all of the normal stuff into the scary stuff, well, the not so scary stuff because uh, it's all for the Oogie Boogie Bash celebration. This is a giant treat trail during the event. And the event opens up on September 2nd, by the way. And on a side note, the event is sold out, so you can't buy tickets for it. They may open up ticket sales uh, if they add additional days, but as of right now, at the time of uh, recording this video, tickets are sold out. But yeah, this is what they're doing over here at what Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. They're starting to convert it over to the uh, treat trail. And I'm not the only one here today. Joining me, Scott and Savannah. Hey, how's it going? Just nice to see you. All the villains preparation. It's villainous. It is villainous. I mean, not so much right now, but eventually. You know, rumor has it they're gonna have terror bears inside. Really? Just ripping out Snow White. OMG, that's pretty terrifying. Well, you didn't hear it Don't get me. too scared. <laughs> you didn't hear it from me, okay? <laughs> Cars Land is another location that will be transforming very soon for the Halloween season. One of my favorite areas in California Adventure for Halloween time. They do such an incredible job with the decorations in Cars Land, so I cannot wait. All right, that's pretty much all the happenings here at California Adventure. Let's head over to Disneyland next. And since we're over here at Disneyland, we're just gonna work our way around the park counterclockwise and see what's going on jump into a few different places and then maybe if we have time we'll jump on a ride or two and then later 
grab something to eat because I have not eaten all day today. A lot of rumors still circulating about Tomorrowland as D23 quickly approaches just a few weeks away and we will all find out if all the rumors are true or not. So who knows, but a, a nice Tomorrowland renovation would be uh, welcome, that is for sure, because I just feel like this land, you know, one of the original lands when Disneyland opened is just kind of neglected. Right in front of the Tomorrowland Theater, they have some work walls up. It looks like they're working on some paving project or maybe some plumbing going on in the front here. It seems like they've worked in this particular section so many times. I can only imagine how much money they've spent just working in this little spot in front of the theater. Do you remember when they had the Magic Key Lounge in here? Yeah, I don't know when that perk's coming back. And that's one thing I briefly wanted to talk about is, yeah, the Magic Key situation because we still don't know no, at the time of me filming this, I, we don't know what the situation is with renewals or uh, new magic keys or a new annual pass holder program. Uh, yeah, nothing has been said by the company. And that's pretty frustrating, especially when you take account all the other theme parks that have annual pass programs and how easy and uh, just hassle-free all that stuff is. It seems like Disney always likes to overcomplicate things. So yeah, we don't know when we'll be able to renew because a lot of people's uh, passes, including mine, expire on August 25th. That's when they went on sale last year. And yes, even the train agrees that yeah, things are a little weird. And there's still the annual pass holder lawsuit happening and it hasn't gotten to court just yet, but that could be another reason why Disney is holding off. And they also could be just redesigning an all new program. It wouldn't surprise me. It also wouldn't surprise me if they don't sell anything and they just have people purchase tickets. As far as what might change, there might be a price increase. I mean, actually, the more I think about it, there's probably going to be a price increase. They might change some perks, take some things away or add some things. I hope they add some things. Because let's be real here, if no one else is gonna talk about it in the community, at least I will, I think the Disney Annual Pass program is pretty much the basic as far as perks or any sort of incentive, especially when you compare it to other theme parks in the country. There are so many other pass programs May, uh, by other companies that really uh, showcase how much they do care about the annual pass holders. Disney earns a lot of money off of annual pass holders, at least I think so here in California. It's a different story in Florida because those parks are more uh, geared towards tourists, but here in Anaheim, uh, this is a locals park and I feel like they can offer way more perks and incentives for the Magic Key holders just because we're here all the time. And talk about Magic Key holders buying endless amounts of uh, specialty merch. I mean, every time something comes out, it seems like there is a line for a popcorn bucket or a specialty shirt or something Magic Key related. So yeah, I hope they, uh, if they're going to redesign the program, I hope it's uh, you know a win-win for both the consumer and of course the business. Just as a heads up though, if they don't do anything with the annual pass holder program as far as renewals or they extend it uh, even longer and my pass expires, I will not be purchasing tickets to come to the park. I'm going to be covering other parks and I feel like I don't need to uh, spend all this extra money to come here and when you know they just had an annual pass holder program. Again, this is all speculative and things could change here in the next day so they can announce something. But as far as uh, maybe uh, coming into the park, buying tickets, if they don't uh, offer renewals anytime soon, uh, yeah, it's probably not gonna happen here on my channel. But with that said, let's move on to a different topic and talk about Toontown really quick because through the tree line, you can see that they have started to paint all of the background facade, that the big facade piece that sits on the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway show building. That's all, that's finally being uh, painted in different colors. We have the purple in the far background and then the green and then the darker green as you get a little closer to uh, the guests. So it's, it's really exciting to see some movement, actually some really fast movement happening with the Toontown project. But yeah, really good progress happening, at least from what we can see through the tree line. Switching gears over here in Fantasyland, you have only a couple days remaining. Actually, I'm sure by the time this video is posted, the attraction will be down, or Matterhorn will be down for refurbishment for who knows how long. They don't have a return date. Over here in this little corner of Frontierland, this will be transitioning very soon to Halloween because they do the Dio de los Muertos area and they have all the big skeletons. That's really cool. I love the display they always put up, so can't wait to check that out. But right now, it's still the meet and greet for Maribel. Yeah, Treehouse Watch 2022. Yeah, still nothing going on at the former Tarzan's Treehouse. 
So I, I'm, I'm still thinking they're gonna announce something at D23. Made it back to California Adventure because it's dinner time and we're gonna do Lamplight Lounge this evening. It's actually been a, a hot minute since I've been over here. So yeah, why not? I've always loved this little tile mural that they have. The one downstairs has a hidden Mickey in it. I've pointed it out before in the other videos, but I always find that fun. Choices, choices, choices. There's so much to choose from. I think the last time I was here, I had the lobster nachos. That's always good. I do like the cheddar burger. That's always really good. I might do the um, salmon poke because I the last time I had the poke here, it was only tuna and they've changed it to salmon. So maybe I'll do that. And this is the drink of choice. All three of us got it. It is the Paradise Bay, but the only missing ingredient was the Midori. They don't have the Midori that it usually is made with. So we'll have to get it again. But this is another secret menu item that uh, I've been wanting to try. It's like, it's pretty sweet. It tastes kind of like um, some sort of candy. Savannah, you said what kind of candy? Like a Jolly, like a Jolly Rancher, that's what it tastes like. It's good. Alrighty, my meal has arrived. This is the salmon poke. And you know, I'm a little bit disappointed with the portion size here. I was expecting uh, the same set up as the tuna, which came in a bowl, and the portion was a little bit larger than this. Um, this might be a one and done for me, just because of the price and the portion size, to be completely honest. And another thing I just noticed, that there's no rice in this either. Some of the other um, poke bowls that they have here on property come with rice, and this one does not. I just finished up with Lamplight Lounge. Very good, and the drinks were scrum diddly umptious as always. But yeah, a little disappointed in that salmon poke. Uh, it's not really a bowl anymore, it's just a salmon poke plate. But a little disappointed in the portion size. Now the food itself, the food quality was very good, but uh, you know, yeah, I was expecting the bowl like last time I was here. And as you can see, the sun is slowly setting here at Pixar Pier, but we're gonna cruise on over to Disneyland, I believe. We might ride Matterhorn because like I was saying earlier, Matterhorn's going down for refurbishment until who knows when, hopefully it's not a long refurbishment. I hope they open it up uh, sometime in the fall and I hope they don't do anything crazy to it. Right outside of Cars Land as we're making our way out, I have never noticed this. Look at this new wait time, this digital display board. Shows Web Slingers, Goofy Sky School, Grizzly River Run, Guardians of the Galaxy, Radiator Springs Racers, Soren, and Credit Coaster, and Toy Story Mania. That is very convenient. I actually really love this. And just like that, well, bam, back at. Oh, there goes a the bird. The crow is a little late. But, anyways, we're back at Walt's Original Magic Kingdom. We made it over here into Tomorrowland, and look, they're doing the dance party. Stitches Interplanetary Beach Party Blast. This is so cool, especially for the kids. If you want to bring the kids over here to wear them out for a few hours, definitely bring them over here to Tomorrowland Terrace. Alrighty, it is time for Matterhorn bobsleds. Yeah, I want to get some rides in before she closes down for refurbishment. I always love paying Harold a visit. Oh yeah, rows four, five, and six. Let's do this. Oh, there's the electrical parade! Yeah! Woo! Oh! Okay, here comes the finale! Yeah! Awesome! Alrighty, we've made it into Galaxy's Edge because I figure why not close this video out with a spectacular fireworks show here in Batu. Well, I should say meteor shower because we're on a totally different planet.
And just like that, I've made it out of Disneyland just in time because the Main Street Electrical Parade was about to start and I did not want to, oh, someone dropped something. Yeah, I did not want to deal with the, <laughs> the crowd from Main Street Electrical Parade. You know, let's pop into World of Disney real quick. I always like showing you guys some of the new merch and then we'll walk back to the parking structure. Oh, I don't remember this t-shirt from last time. I got 1955 right there. I actually like that. Very soft t-shirt. Nothing on the back. Assuming this is like 24 bucks. Yep, $24.99. These ears look new to me as well. Those are pretty neat. The buttons on the bow there. Nothing on the back. The white stitching around the ears. $29.99 for these. It's funny, some more Main Street Electrical Parade merch is coming out, and I don't remember these from last time I was here. These are a bunch of different magnets. It's cool. Uh, $24.99 for the magnets. Okay, this is actually really cool. Look at this Haunted Mansion backpack. That is really neat. We got the bride on there and all of the headless husbands. That's pretty awesome. Kiss the bride. Let's see, how much is this? This is $49.99. Dumbo's getting some love with this lounge fly bag. How about the different Dumbo's from the attraction on there? This one is, let's see, how much is it? Take a guess, quick, hurry before I. Read the price, $75. I'm seeing a lot of people pick up these ears. These look pretty new to me. And you could also team it up with the Spirit jersey. You can match. It's pretty nice. Future Dylan here. I didn't do the outro at the park. It was pretty crazy getting back to the parking structure. And uh, yeah, I was like, you know what? I'll just film the outro uh, the next day. So yeah, here we are in the next day. Um, I'm actually gonna be filming a Six Flags video today. So I'll be there very, very soon. Really excited to see what's going on at the park because the uh, Wonder Woman area, the new DC Universe area is still an ongoing project. So we're gonna check that out too. But it was great checking up on the updates at Disneyland. There's so much to cover that it's like almost impossible to cover in one video, especially with all the stuff happening at the Disneyland Hotel now with that paint job and then the DVC tower is going up, which I didn't cover in this video. So in the next Disneyland update, maybe sometime next week or so, we'll take another look at the progress of the DVC tower. Tower, which is gonna be really exciting. And yeah, as I'm recording this little outro segment, still no word on the uh, Magic Key program. I know I'm pretty uh, straightforward with my opinions when it comes to some things at Disney. Uh, yeah, there's some things at Disney that are frustrating and then there's some things at Disney that are uh, a lot of fun. And uh, the one thing that is very frustrating right now is the Magic Key program. So yeah, still have no idea what they're gonna be doing with that. They couldn't, you know, they could be doing nothing and come uh, the week before our passes expire, they'll just be like, hey, it, you could renew. So there you go. And so it could be something as simple as that, or they could be in uh, uh, the works of something more elaborate. So who knows? But for something really exciting, I'm really stoked for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I'm glad that they're starting to paint that facade that's on the show building for the massive attraction. And of course, uh, since the attraction is multi-purpose, well, the building is multi-purpose, all those offices are up on that second level too. So I'm glad that they're continuing um, at a really quick pace on the building. And I'm sure the land is looking very fantastic as well. So I am I cannot wait. You know, when they announced Mickey and Minnie's for Hollywood Studios, I was keeping my fingers crossed that we would get it at Disneyland. And then sure enough, they made the announcement that it was coming to Disneyland. So I'm really looking forward to our own version of it. And I'm glad that our version is gonna be slightly different than the one at Hollywood Studios. So it gives people reason to go see both attractions. And if you haven't ridden Mickey and Minnie's over at Hollywood Studios, I totally suggest you do if you are heading to Disney World soon, because it's a, it's a really fun ride, especially for the kids. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. It would help out tremendously. And if you're new to the channel and you love these Disneyland updates and a bunch of other updates and vlogs from a, a bunch of different theme parks, consider subscribing because I have new videos every single week. And yeah, we're gonna keep going throughout the rest of the year. There's some exciting things uh, coming at the end of the year. So I cannot wait for that. So really looking forward to all the new content. So yeah, if you're new and you love what I do here, yeah, hit that subscribe button. It's free, it doesn't cost a thing. As always, a huge shout out to everyone that supports me and loves what I do here. And also, if you haven't already checked out my Instagram account, I'll leave that link down below in the description. Be sure to head over there because I post updates there uh, that I don't normally post here on the channel. I kind of update people first on the Instagram account. So yeah, head over there if you're not already uh, following me there. But other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.